Hello everyone, I'm Pranay, a C++ developer enthusiast and I am a computer scientist at Adobe Systems. And this is a talk on decade-long journey of Lambdas. Let's uh, dive in. Let's see what's the agenda of this talk. So Lambdas are one of the most basic tools of functional programming in C++. They have evolved a lot since their inception and we are here to cover a rewind of the last decade. We'll see what's new and what all you can do with them. What happened in C++11 uh, is that uh, Lambdas was the idea that became into reality. And let's delve in. Lambdas are the named expressions that generates a function object on the fly. The compiler generates unique closure for each of the Lambda function. And the good thing about these closures is that they have a type and the type doesn't have any name. Only the compiler knows uh, for its inner workings what's the type name, but you don't know. So lambdas are a zero cost abstractions if you compare them with a function and two identical lambdas that have the same body, uh, they would still produce closures of two different types altogether. If you see this snippet here, so there is a capture clause here that could capture the variables by value or by reference. Then there is a parameter list. So these are non-optional cases here. Then there's a mutability specifications using mutable keyword, then exception specification using throw, and there's a return type. So all the three last three are optional. If a lambda only has one return statement, the return type can be omitted altogether. And if it's marked mutable, it's allowed to mutate the uh, variables that are captured here by value. As you can see in this example, X is uh, captured by value and the A lambda is mutable. So it can mutate the value of X and if you print it here, it would be printed as six, but in the original function, uh, X won't be modified. It would still be printed as five. That isn't true for a variable uh, that is captured by reference, such as B is capturing X by reference. Then came the C plus 14 and there were uh, major enhancements there. In C plus 14, Lambda's got four major enhancements. First was the introduction of default parameters. So just like any other function, lambdas could be supplied default parameters. Then uh, template parameterization is also there. In C14, you could use lambdas using auto refref or autos. So they could be called and used as a template function. Then third was the generalized capture uh, for lambdas. So you could uh, initialize variables using, using existing values in lambdas and you could even move the existing values to initialize the capture list. So that was a powerful feature that got into C14. And the fourth was you could return a Lambda from a function itself by using auto as a return type. In C17, uh, there were two major changes. So one was obviously the introduction of const EXPA for Lambdas. It was a major enhancement and the power that it gave to Lambda is that they could be used and evaluated at compile time. The other feature that Lambda's got in C17 was that you could use a simple syntax to uh, capture a copy of this by value. In C14, this was also possible, but you had to use an alias, use just like OBJ or any other value. But here, this could be directly captured by using star this. So that made the syntax much cleaner for usage. Let's see in this example, uh, the Lambda here uh, that is getting my value is using this by value and this, this is captured uh, just natively in C17. Then came the C20 and the lambdas got more aligned towards templates. C20 brought them even closer to a manually defined function objects by using the classic sentence that we define and that we use to define a template function. Another improvement that we got here was to be able to capture a variadic pack of parameters. So as you can see in this code snippet, my Lambda is just written like a typical template function here. And T is a universal forwarding reference here. So the, these, are, these are the things that Lambda got in C20 and it made them more powerful. Uh, just because they were mo got more aligned toward a typical template function. The other thing that C20 enabled uh, for other types such as STD vector and other STL algorithms is that they got cost expert too, and they could be used along with the combination of lambdas that allowed to create uh, elaborate manipulations uh, which could be evaluated at the compile time itself. What's in the store plus C23? Let's see. 
the parameter list could be omitted if it can be. Then the recursive method. List. I think somebody didn't get the memo about five minute talks, but there we are. Thank you.